So a few years ago I made this photograph. I wanted to show everybody the medication that I take on a daily basis. And the reason I take all this medication is because I have cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a life-limiting inherited condition caused by a faulty gene. This gene controls the movement of salt and water in and out of cells, causing mucus to build up in the lungs, digestive system and other vital organs. More than 2.5 million of us carry the faulty gene, which is roughly about 1 in 25 of us, and most of us don't know we are carriers. Next year I'll be turning 25, but when I was born, the doctors told my parents that my life expectancy was only around 20. But because of improved care and specialised treatments, specialists now say that more than half of the cystic fibrosis population will live to be older than 41, and a baby born today can live even longer. Each week, five babies in the UK are born with cystic fibrosis. There's no history of CF in my family, so when I was born with it, it came as a huge shock to everybody. But there are ways to find out if your child will have CF. There's the newborn screening test, which is now offered to all babies in the UK. There's the antenatal test that's offered to mothers, and it's the carrier test that's offered to both parents. Now some people don't get diagnosed till very later on in life. I was lucky enough to be diagnosed at five days old. And this is because I was born with the intestinal obstruction called Macaulay myelis, and this is a huge indicator of CF. Now CF patients are actually really salty, so another way of checking for cystic fibrosis is to have a sweat test. Our sodium chloride levels are a bit strange, so the salt that's meant to be in our cells is actually on our skin. Now I'm actually really salty. I usually get a huge gathering of salt right at the end of my nose, which can be a little bit awkward because it does look like a funky substance. So in case you are wondering whenever you see me, what is that white stuff at the end of my nose? I assure you it is just salt, it's nothing else. Now having CF means having a lot of medication. I take about 30 tablets in the morning and 20 in the evening, which on average every year is up to over 18,000 tablets. And that's just without my pancreatic enzymes. I take these enzymes because my stomach doesn't work properly. So in order for me to absorb all the nutrients, these enzymes help break down the food. Now about six years ago, I became diabetic, which is quite common within CF patients. It means I have to take insulin every night and I have to watch what I eat. Now it can be quite tricky because I have to keep an eye on my blood sugars, but being a CF patient, I have to have a high calorie diet. Although living with cystic fibrosis is very difficult, I've worked incredibly hard to be where I am today. I've put myself through school, through sixth form, I've got a foundation diploma and I even have a university degree. Now I wouldn't have been able to achieve all of those things without the help from my friends, my family, staff at the hospital, teachers and lecturers at university. As you can imagine, living with CF means many, many hospital trips. I visit my local hospital every four to six weeks. This involves checkups with my doctors, my physios, my nurses, my dietitians, and the lung function team. Another complication with CF is sinus disease, and this is quite common. Now I struggle terribly with my sinuses, and I've had four operations so far. This year it looks like I'll be having my fifth. Because of my weak immune system, it means I'm very, very prone to infection. Because of these nasty chest infections, it means I have to have intravenous treatment every six to eight weeks. To make it easier for this intravenous treatment, I have a portacath in my arm. This portacath connects directly to my bloodstream, so the medication that I have acts almost instantaneously. As you can imagine, these drugs are incredibly strong, so for the two weeks whilst I'm having them, I'm very, very tired, I'm very fatigued, I feel very sick, and it's quite a struggle. This medication will last two to two and a half weeks, and it involves having medicine at eight o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the afternoon, and about 11 o'clock at night. Excellent, there we go. Thank you. Now as part of this video, there's also something else I'd like to raise awareness of, and that's the mental battle with cystic fibrosis. Now I've struggled hugely in the past with the mental battle with CF. Growing up with a condition that you know is ultimately one day going to kill you is something that nobody should have to experience. I was always very apprehensive about asking for help, especially because people are always saying to me how much they admire my strength. And only until recently did I come to realise that I was actually struggling. But I did take that step, I did ask for help, and it's made the world of difference. So if you are struggling, please, please don't struggle alone. There are people there that will help you. You coming up? Come on then! I should point out that this is Dorothy, and this is Douglas. They're like my two children. 
CF is very much a hidden illness. Now I am under no illusion that I look healthy, but what's going on out here isn't necessarily what's going on in here. Now currently I don't need new lungs, but there might come the day where I need to have a lung transplant. And whilst the thought of that is pretty terrifying, I do know other CF patients that have had lung transplant and have made it out the other side and are having their second chance at life. But unfortunately I also know some other CF patients that didn't get that chance. If you are not on the organ donor list then please please consider becoming an organ donor. In your passing you have the chance to improve somebody's life. Now it's very important to mention that any transplant, whether it be lungs, liver or even the heart, it isn't a cure. Currently there is no cure for cystic fibrosis, but they are working towards one. And whilst I'm very hopeful that one day there will be, I know that perhaps in my lifetime it won't, that won't be the case. And I'm okay with that because I'm so used to having medication every day. I can't imagine life without taking tablets. I can't imagine life without having inhalers. I can't imagine life without having hospital visits. I can't imagine life without having my nebulizers. That's just the way my life is and I'm happy with my life. Yes, cystic fibrosis is very, very difficult and there are times where I absolutely hate it, but I don't know any different and I am making the most of my life and my life is with cystic fibrosis. And on that note, I think I'll end the video here. I hope it's been of some use and you have learned a little bit. What I've mentioned in my video about CF is just a very, very minute part of it. I've tried to keep the video as short as I can, but if you would like any more information about cystic fibrosis, please do hop on over to the Cystic Fibrosis Trust website. They have all the information needed and they have contact details if you would like to talk to anybody. Have a great day, thank you very much! Whew. That was surprisingly intense. Should we go and get a cup of tea? Yeah? I think we need a cup of tea. Come on then, let's go!